Hi there chaps and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the basics on how to set up your own server in Venice Unleashed. By the end of this video, you will know how to create your own map rotations, custom server settings, including things such as damage multipliers, spawn rates and ticket counts and features that have exclusively come with Venice Unleashed, including removing the blue tin and changing suppression values in your servers. I have created some resources for you guys so you can get things up and running as soon as as possible and we can have a look into those a little bit later in this video this is a beginner's guide though so just to define the scope of this video we won't be covering how to install mods as that is more complex in nature however I am working on an advanced tutorial which I will publish probably in the next few days so if you'd like to see that be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay notified that being said let's jump into things so an outline so there's two ways to create your own server in Venice Unleashed. You can use the rental server program or you can actually build your own server using your own PC hardware to run that server. Now, for the purposes of this video, we're going to exclusively look at renting a server i've been talking to tim who's one of the developers on the venice unleashed project have to say big shout out to him he's helped me so much today figuring this all out so much much appreciated if he's watching this but he's been saying he has a ryzen 5900x processor and if he wants to run a server on its own hardware it uses a hundred percent of that processor you also need a download speed of about 30 megabits per second and an upload speed of 30 megabits per second so so the majority of people just don't have those kind of specs and if you did run a server on your own pc you wouldn't actually be able to play the game at the same time unless you had like a two pc setup so for this video we're going to be looking at renting a server and how you can customize that rental server for your needs so to rent a server you need to go to this website called alliance apps before you do anything make sure you make an account very easy to make an account just put in your email address create a password and you're good to go once you've created an account, you want to come over to Venice Unleashed servers and pick which server that suits your needs best. They vary in price range. As they get more expensive, you can hold more and more players. None of these servers will actually ever limit the amount of players you can have in your server. However, these act as more like guidelines and recommendations. If you start exceeding these player counts at these certain refresh rates, you're gonna start getting serious issues within your server. People start lagging out and it will just be a bad experience. So I wouldn't recommend uh, exceeding these boundaries too much. However, as I said, pick what server suits your needs best you can also toggle this up here which essentially tells the website whether you're planning to play with vehicles primarily or mostly infantry maps again if you're playing with vehicles it's going to affect the recommendations the website gives to you about how many players you should have on certain servers at certain refresh rates but for the purposes of this video I went with a standard server. Once you do this, check everything is okay. You can change how long you want to have the server for. I just went with 30 days. Standard server. The only issue at the moment is North American East servers are down. You cannot get a server location in North America East. The website does say to contact them. I'll leave again all the contact details in the description. Alternatively, you can contact Tim. He monitors the live chat feature, which is just here on the left. But once you've gone through the whole checkout procedure, you want to go to the top right here and down to servers and this theoretically is where your server should appear don't panic if you don't see the server here straight away which you purchased it took actually 10 to 15 minutes for it to appear or on my end so if, if it's taking a bit of time don't don't worry too much there are things to do in the meantime so while you're waiting for your server to appear you need to download a software called filezilla now again link in the description but importantly you want to download filezilla client there is another option there's a filezilla server it's a bit counterintuitive because you think you'd want server but no you want client uh, again i've already downloaded this but download filezilla client onto your pc once you've downloaded it correctly you should see this icon here filezilla client open this up on your desktop now this is when you'll be presented with this now it looks all a little bit confusing but don't panic it's actually pretty self-explanatory after you've played around with it for a few minutes so what you'll notice importantly though is up the top here you'll have host username password and port now whenever your server appears what you're going to want to go and do is go to configuration now i'm going to have to 
hide this post production but you should see on your server ftp will be right in the middle and below that you'll have host port username and password what you want to do is copy and paste the host port username and password into filezilla in the correct slots and then click quick connect if you've done it correctly you should see this on the right hand side of filezilla logs admin and server key if this doesn't appear, don't panic. Um, it happened to me once or twice. All you need to do is go back, restart your server, and then type in the information again and click Quick Connect. Once you are on though, what you want to do is double click on admin. We're not going anywhere near logs or server key. Do not worry about that. That's something you really don't need to touch, so don't panic. The only things we need to worry about for this guide is startup text and map list text we're not doing ban list text at the moment and we're not doing mods in this video we're simply looking at server settings and how to get certain map rotations so the best place to start is with startup text now the way you can edit this is first you have to right click on startup text and then go view edit now this should open a notepad you need to have some kind of notepad software or something along those lines personally if you're running windows 7 or above just get notepad um it should already be installed on your pc um but you should get something like this you won't have any text in here this is kind of what i've already done for my server but we'll delete it for the time being so as i said you'll be presented with a blank page and this is when you need to start putting in your script to tell the server on Venice Unleashed what you want it to do. Now this is where the guide comes in really, really handy. So this is the guide I've created for you guys. Again, don't panic. It's all quite self-explanatory. So startup files, startup text. So first we need to understand the lingo, the language. This took me a while to get the hang of, but again, really, really simple. So there's three terms you need to understand, integer, Boolean, and string. Integer refers to any whole number, so for example, the number 12. Boolean refers to true or false. And string refers to uh, text, essentially. So idle gaming server or, you know, big big boy server or something along those lines. Whatever you want, whatever you want to call your server, whatever you whatever text you can think of. So what I've done here is created a table for you where I've listed out the function. So what, what it does essentially, so this function will be the server name, so this is how you can change the server name. I've then listed out the script, the command, the string, and then an example of what you can put into notepads. So let's take server name for example. So this is a script you're going to want to put into your notepad. So we still had the notepad open from before. So you'd put your script in, and I want to call my server Idle Gaming. So type in idle gaming use the little uh, speech marks once you're done a bit counterintuitive but press x click save and i'll get i'll get this up quickly so you can see what happens at the same time click save uh, trying to get it out there we go click save and then you'll come over here and you'll want to click yes and if you see this file transferred successfully then perfect you can move on to the next thing you want to set up with your server so important to note everything in this table all these functions refer to the startup files for your server so everything in this table you want to be putting in the notepad in the startup text so when you open this again reopen local file you'll see it's still there to create a new command simply put click enter or go down below and put in your next command so Let's say for my server, I want, let's turn, let's turn the minimap off. So what you want to do is come down to minimap. That's the function. The script is that. So you'll copy the script below and then it's Boolean, which is true or false. So if you want the minimap on or off, so true, would you want the minimap on and false would mean the minimap would be off. Please just note guys, you don't have to do this for every server setting defaults will be applied and if you want to stray away from the defaults that's when you need to put in the specific settings so the minimap will be on by standards but if you want to turn it off that's when you'd need to put in this script function so i want it off so i simply again quotation marks false and we're good to go so again once you've done that simply press x save 
come over to here make sure you press yes again it'll do all of that boom you're done it's uh it said successful so now we've started to do some things here now the second thing you need to know as i said is map list so this is when you start uh, affecting your map rotations and the game modes that you want to play both your maps and your game loads go into map list so again it's a similar to startup text view and edit and you'll get the you'll get the notepad again so for this again with the word document you can refer to so instead of going to startup files you want to come all the way down to the word document keep going and you want to come to map list files the map list files and the text here outlines how you script for a certain map a game mode and the number of rounds that you want to play on that map and that game mode so for example, again, I've got all the different maps here with their po corresponding script. And on the right, I've got all the game modes with the corresponding script. If, if any of this is confusing, feel free to ask me in the comments and I can try and clear it up for you. So this is the format that you need to go with. So map ID, game mode, and then rounds. So let's say in this example, I want to play Grand Bazaar uh, on the game mode. Oh, I didn't finish that. On the game mode rush uh, and the, so this and then the script would be as follows so I want to play Grand Bazaar so I come down to Grand Bazaar I see that's map 001 so I copy and paste that come over to my map list my notepad put in map 001 space now I want the game mode so in this example I want rush large so here we are rush large so that's the game mode come over to the script copy and paste that into notepad the last thing which is in yellow here is rounds so if you want the te you know teams to be on each side i generally go for two rounds so you want to click the number two and that's that so then again it's the same thing you'd put click x click, click save click yes files transferred successfully now if you want to start stacking different maps again it's, it's similar before enter you would come over to the word document which again will be in the description let's say now i want to play operation firestorm map code 012 i would then come over here i want to play it on conquest conquest large i want to play it on conquest large so i come up to conquest 64 copy and paste the script and again i want to let's say i want to play that for one round now once i put that in save come over there make sure you press yes bish bash bosh we're done and it is as simple as that so once you've done that you want to quickly come over to alliance apps restart your server with the new settings if successful it will go green give it a little bit of time um, it won't appear immediately so once you get into Venice Unleashed, all you need to do is go to filters, go to server name. Remember in the startup text, we named mine Idle Gaming. Apply filters, click close. And remember, we picked Grand Bazaar Rush. And as you can see, the server is playing Grand Bazaar Rush. Just to double remind you guys, when we go into here, if we open up the map list and view text. Our first map was map 001 rush large if you look over to words map 001 is grand bazaar rush large now if we've done this correctly if you remember also in startup we didn't have a mini map so when we load this up there shouldn't be a mini map uh, when we get into the game but let's deploy no mini map you see no mini map on the left so it's really as simple as that. So that's kind of the basics down. Um, there are some more features. And you can kind of look through all of this for yourself. Um, these are some of the features that are, are exclusive and new to Venice Unleashed. So if you want to remove the blue tint, again, you just import this code. This is under the start up files. So you just import this code. It's a Boolean code. So it's a true or false setup uh, and you're good to go. 
Again, there's loads here. I haven't actually listed them all. I've listed the major ones that I think most people will want to fiddle with. If you want to have access to all the different ones, I've left links in this Word document. First link is a link to Battlefield 3 modifiers. Um, so they're kind of your basic ones. And the second one is a link to the Venice Unleashed website where you can get access to some more of the new customizable features. Please note also that maps aren't always compatible with every game mode. I've left a link here as well, uh, which is a link to the Venice Unleashed website where you'll be able to find which maps can play certain game modes. It's really self-explanatory. Just scroll to the bottom. You'll see game mode availability as a subtitle and um, it's as simple as that. One thing I was worried about when doing it myself was like, oh, what happens if I get the wrong script? Does that muck up the whole server? Not at all. It will be completely fine if your server can't read the script it won't it won't completely crash it just won't read the script plus any script that you do put in so let's say you know we change this to three and then we press x save yes it will overwrite anything you had before in the map list text so it's not like old script and other things you've done will be backlogging as soon as you create that new notepad and type in something different or overwrite what you did before so it won't it won't be uh it won't be stacking up so don't don't panic or, or on that front i think that's the fundamentals and the basics covered though we will be uh, looking in the next video how to do more advanced vods for your servers I'd recommend just playing around with uh, the maps, the rounds, the game modes, the different server settings like disabling the blue tint or getting rid of your minimap. Once you've got those basics down, I think you'll be in good stead to understand the next video, which as I said, will be released in the next few days. If you did enjoy this though, please do subscribe. It really helps me out as a small channel as I am a new, uh, new content creator. And I'm trying to grow my channel like anybody else. But anyway, thanks for watching as always though chaps uh have a great day and yeah enjoy venice unleashed